Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks for joining us on Ludicrous Speed. It's a really hot day here in Sydney, so it's a really good day to talk about solar panels. So I'm hearing a lot of feedback from you guys about maybe I should be getting more solar panels for my house just to reduce my power bill a little bit. So today I'm going to talk about how to get my power bill down to zero and I've called this Project Zero Dollar Power Bill. Quick reminder, I live in Sydney, Australia. I have four people in my house, including my wife and two kids. I have a 3 kilowatt solar array currently and I have a Tesla Powerwall 2 which is a 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity. Here's some data I'd like to share with you. So this comes from my Powerwall 2 app and it says that the amount of energy I produced from my solar panels with a 3 kilowatt array over the last 12 months was 4,312 kilowatt hours over the last 12 months. Uh, in 2018 my power bill all up, all four quarterly power bills turned out to be $1,200 in total. So my aim is to reduce that figure to zero. So like I said, my three kilowatt array produced 4,312 kilowatt hours in 12 months, which means on average it produced 12 kilowatt hours per day averaged across the whole year. So 12 divided by three is four. So that sort of magic number is four. Four times your array will get you the number of kilowatt hours produced in one day, at least in my situation anyway. So I've got two scenarios. If I stick with my current electricity plan, my feed-in tariff is currently 11 cents per kilowatt hour. I've stuck with this plan because currently AGL, my power company, offers a $1 a day electric car plan which allows me to charge my car as much as I want for $1 a day. Now this is going to change very soon so I've got to do more research and I think AGL is coming up with a new plan as well so we'll see what happens in the new year. The other option is to upgrade to AGL's Solar Savers Plan, and this is arguably Sydney's best solar feed-in tariff at 20 cents per kilowatt hour. If I do that, that'll forfeit my $1 a day electric car plan, but like I said, they're changing it in the new year anyway, so we'll see what happens next month. So scenario one, stick with my feed-in tariff 11 cents per kilowatt hour. So if I want to reduce my power bill by $1,200 per year, I've got to reduce it by $3.30 per day. $3.30 per day, divide that by 11 cents per kilowatt hour, will get me 30 kilowatt hours. This is the amount of energy I need to produce with my solar panels every day to reduce my power bill by $1,200 per year. 30 kilowatt hours divided by 4, which is that same magic number I said earlier, will get you a 7.5 kilowatt array. So that's scenario 1. Scenario 2, if I upgrade to a 20 cents per kilowatt hour feed-in tariff, same formula, $1,200 per year with my power bill. I need to reduce that by $3.30 per day to get that to zero. $3.30 divided by 20 cents per kilowatt hour. That's 16.5 kilowatt hours that I need to produce every day to reduce my bill to zero. 16.5 divided by four is 4.2. 4.2 kilowatt array. So that's my two scenarios. Scenario one, install a 7.5 kilowatt array with a feed-in tariff of 11 cents. Scenario 2, upgrade to this AGL solar savers plan with a feed-in tariff of 20 cents per kilowatt hour, giving me a 4.2 kilowatt array which I need to install. So in summary, what's the payback time? Well, whether it's a 7.5 kilowatt or a 4.2 kilowatt array, divide this cost by $1,200 and that'll give you payback time in a number of years. So in Australia, our rebates are going to go down next month or next year, which is next month really. So I'm hoping that with rebates going down, the price of panels will go down with it. So we shall get a quote next month when things settle down a little bit with one electric car plan changing from that $1 a day deal and with STCs or the rebates going down and seeing whether the panels go down in price with it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, leave a comment if you've got a query or a question with regards to my calculations. And uh, if you've got any other ideas as well with regards to installing more panels to reduce my uh, charge on my electricity bill to zero dollars. Hopefully it's a lovely day wherever you are in this world. I will try and stay nice and cool for the rest of today. It's really warm in Sydney at the moment. All right guys, as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. If you're about to buy a Tesla, use my promo code THOMAS7208 to score 6 months of free supercharging. Happy charging!